Most of us try to do our part for the environment, and I'll admit, I usually feel pretty good about myself when I turn in all my recyclables at the transfer station. Of course, we could always do more. One such way is by composting. And if you think that composting is too much work, we recently met with somebody that showed us not only is composting easy, it's pretty fun, too. Tonight we're going to be talking about uh, how you can set up your own compost bin and um, how you can get started and all the different stages of composting from what it looks like at uh, day one, two weeks, six months, eight months, a year, and then finish compost and uh, how it's uh, a beautiful uh, thing for your garden. Compost is extremely easy. All you have to do is mix together your kitchen scraps, your leaves and your grass, add a little bit of water and it turns into beautiful soil. And that soil can be used to hold the right moisture in your garden and it can hold in enough nutrients. Um, it's actually 333. When you buy fertilizer in your uh, store, it might be 10, 10, 10, which can damage the roots of plants. 333 is the percentages of phosphorus, nitrogen, and potassium in your soil. And a lot of times when you buy a chemical at a garden center, that's the three chemicals that are being added to your soil. Compost provides those minerals in an organic sense in that they're f derived from leaves, grass, and fruit scraps versus when you buy it at a garden center or a big box store, it's actually derived from oil. So it's a chemical and you really shouldn't be putting a chemical on your soil. You want to do organics. Organics are better for you. There's no chemicals involved. They're better for your health. Compost helps to amend the soil so that it will hold in the right amount of moisture and it will let your root stock for your plants grow tremendously. And I'll show some roots from a pepper plant that I brought tonight that the roots are just absolutely massive um, because the compost uh, has a lot of air spaces in it and it lets the roots thrive and spread out. So that in times of drought, the roots can spread out far. They can reach that moisture that's way down in the soil. So whenever I plant a plant, I dig couple of shovelfuls deep of the soil that's there. I put in compost, I'll put in a couple shovelfuls of compost and then I'll put in my tomato plant for instance and then I'll actually side dress with compost later in the season to give it a little bit more minerals to get it through August and September and into October.